Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, today we're going to talk about how to recover from muscle soreness, and we're going to show you basically the number one method to do so. Sure. And we're talking about DOMS, aren't we? D-O-M-S. Yes. DOMS. Delayed onset muscle soreness. So this is the soreness that comes on usually a day or two later mm -hmm. after you've done lifting or something like that. It occurs basically... That type of soreness occurs when the muscle is lengthening, believe it or not, when you're, when you're lifting. So let's say I'm curling. If I'm curling and I'm going up like this, the muscle is shortening my bicep. Now when I bring it down, it's lengthening. That's when the soreness can occur. That's when the micro trauma or tears can occur. Sure. If I'm squatting, right, when I'm going down like this, my quads are lengthening as I squat. And that's where the soreness can occur. Right. The, the, again, it's micro trauma in the muscles, and uh, your body's starting to repair those muscles, and it's, there's an inflammatory response. Sure. It's also called muscle fever. <laughs> and the other thing, you know, you weightlifters out there, they refer to that as negatives. If you're doing a negative, sure. Um, just another term that we'll throw so in. Throwing in some, some home. For you better believe okay. it. Okay. All right, so what, what are you going to do for this? The biggest, the thing they have found, they found the things that don't work are, are like cryotherapy, which is ice. Mm -hmm. uh, they have also found that stretching does not really help. And I'm here to say, because I both cryotherapy and stretch, I don't think it makes it worse. It may not help, no. but it feels better. And so it I feels better, it. so yeah. you go ahead and absolutely, there's no problem with doing it at all. Um, I also would be a big one of taking ibuprofen just because of the other side effects of, of taking ibuprofen all right. the time. So... And the other thing, by the way, it's, it is not due to lactic acid buildup, by the way, mm -hmm. which obviously can give you pain while you're work, you know, working out, but it's, it's, it's just due to micro trauma. Sure. So the number one method, Brad, is you want to increase blood flow to that area. Okay. So there's two ways to do that. One is what you call active recovery, where, so let, let's say the next day you're really sore, what you're going to do is something a lot less intense. Right. Maybe using the same muscle group, but let's say you, your legs are real sore, you might just do some walking or some really maybe gentle biking or something like that. For example, I did a really hard bike last night on hills getting ready for a race and my muscles are sore. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it today, but I should do, but I got things to do at home, is get on my bike and ride on the flat at a very low level. As a matter of fact, you're going to feel like, why am I even doing this? If your heart rate should not get up into that aerobic range, mm -hmm. even if so, at the low, low level, it's so simple that it's going to feel like a waste of time. That's an act of recovery, and it's yeah. really hard if you're a go-getter. It's going to drive you nuts, but it's important to do it's it. A very good example. You you want to just get blood flowing. Yeah, there. just blood flow for twenty. You know, twenty minutes is good enough. Get flush out all those that waste material. Get some fresh blood in, and it's going to heal those muscles. Yeah. The other thing is that is what you can do is, is basically massage, and we do we have two ways to do that. Um, one is the foam roller, which we've done some videos on that. We'll do we'll show some today, Brad. Sure. So, some of the muscles, and the other one is well, th there's a product you can buy called the Intracell Body Stick, mm -hmm. and we've done a video on that, um, and that works really well. But we also discovered you can just take a rolling pin right. like this, and and this will actually help you. Uh, apply a self massage to a lot of the sore muscles like this. Yeah, that works out really good. Um, I think it's yeah. It, this is a nice one. It's very a lot easier to apply to yourself I sure. think, than the foam roller, yeah. which you'll see the foam roller is a little more difficult. So yeah, your quads are sore. Just roll them out like that. It's getting more blood flow into into them. Yeah, kind of easy to do, isn't it? It's good, Bob. Yeah. yeah. You, I I really got some my quads, and I was working on pulling up on this pedal stroke, which gets my hamstring sore. And, uh, yeah, a great one for doing the yeah. hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Oh, work down here a little the bit. calves, good, a good one for sore. Oh my goodness. Could you do your chest muscle with this one, Brad? No, I'm not doing that in front of a camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we could we could work that too. Yeah, I just think that would almost be easier than using a foam roller on the chest muscle. Maybe I'm wrong. You could um, you can lay on this and and, and roll over it. I, so you could. I don't know. I never do, but. You want to get on the floor, Brad, and yeah. show some, some of the stretches you can do, some of the foam rolling you can do with this. Why don't, why don't you do um, the piriformis, the butt muscle first to start oh, Okay, yeah, we'll start up here. As a matter of fact, I was just working with a woman who was having some, wanted to learn how to use this from the hip, hips on down. 
and she was talking about that butt muscle right in there. And you gotta be kind of active and a mobile person to do this. You're not gonna do it if you're 80 years old and having some issues. Oh yeah, work on that. You can man. actually cross that leg over, can't you, Brad? And that'll put even more stress on it. Oh, yeah. I don't want to put more stress yeah, on right, it. Right, it's, it's uh, and then the hamstrings here, like this. You know, if you want to do one at a time, you can cross and get right on there. And you, once you do this, you'll know how you can adjust the pressure by where you put your hands on the floor. How about IT band, Brad? Oh, you can do calves. Yeah, we might as well go right on down to the calf. And this one's even. Now, this is pretty aggressive, owie, 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 but it's really getting in there. Oh, that's better. And the IT band on the side. Man, we got to do something with our carpet, I know, carpet keeps sliding out. we got to stitch it up. We have a video done on that, too. And here you're really, this is sensitive. If yeah. you're doing this, you're going to really put weight through your arm and adjust it accordingly because it will work that IT band and be a little painful. So adjust to your own judgment all right now you could also get hip flexor oh yeah but i gotta do this oh, just, oh. this is a good one this is really good for the mid back yeah. i don't know that i would do this to the low back would you brad i don't because it's uncomfortable yeah it's I, I it's uncomfortable for me too so we do it in the thoracic area i never do it in the lumbar area that's it um my patient yesterday said can i do my lats and yeah, you can do your laps on this, but you really have to adjust because that's the rib cage and so sensitive and may be painful. Uh, but boy, this is quite the device. You know, it's not very expensive and it really worked. What was the other one you said? Uh, hip flexor. Hip. Oh, can you do it? Well, let's see what we can do. <laughs> now, the big thing with that, I would move it over, Brad, or yeah, because you don't want to get your package caught in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be an issue. Yeah. My wife would not be happy. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, let's not uh, skip that, but this is a clean show. All right. A lot of times people do get sore up in those hip, hip flexors are way up where yeah. the attachment is. Yeah. So that's a good one to do. So this gives you options. By the way, they do have uh, foam rollers now that actually have uh, like ripples. Under, you know, ripples or undulations, and, and they really will work on, you know, Undulation, nice work. I thought, yeah, I thought throw it in there. So, God, I'm feeling strong like bull going on. Right, again, wow. remember now, nobody should have to live in pain except pain, Minnesota. Pain, Minnesota, yeah, you betcha. It's in northern Minnesota, up by the North Lake. They call it the uh, the North Shore, up by uh, Superior. But um, I think the other thing is you shouldn't have to live with pain. So, unless you have a dog named Pain, or maybe a son named Pain. I don't think anybody should have to live with me. <laughs> That's true. Thanks.